Motley and Maurizio Margaglio of Italy. And there's the Italian judge, Walter Zaccaro. You'll remember in the second compulsory dance, he was the only judge of the nine to rate them number one. So the hometown voting is not over with. Well, they were not happy at all that the rest of the judges didn't have them in first place. We <laughs> talked to Barbara and Maurizio yesterday after practice, and she said, I am so mad. Tomorrow I will skate like a tiger. To which Maurizio replied, I love it when she gets that way. No stopping us now. And they have been known to have some epic battles on the ice in uh, both training and sometimes after a performance. She is feisty and fiery, and this rhythm suits her to a T. fourth in the original dance. Not that unhappy with the result because they did make a major error. They went back to Italy and reworked the program, changing this first piece, and it has improved significantly. They were fourth behind Born and Crafts in that competition in Canada in December. A key element for them, the straight line sequence. Barbara, a very strong skater. Maurizio does struggle. Watch him. Fusarpoli and Margaglio of Italy. They are the reigning world champions in their second Olympics. They finished sixth in Nagano. World champions last year. This year, their material has not been as slick and refined. They, they've struggled in competition. They were always known to be prepared early on in the competition season and this year I think they got a slow start and again struggling with their material sometimes you pick a piece of music and everything just comes the program flows together and other times you just keep changing this and that to try and and get the right final product so here's a look at their straight line sequence and if you watch Maurizio he's a little bit tentative you can see he's kind of thinking through it he is not as sure-footed as Barbara is. She is definitely the strength of the team. There were a few miscues later on in the performance. Down in the corner here, they were just a little bit off, and you can see Mar Barbara first slipping and then Maurizio. 
How important was that in the judging? See, I think it was quite important because throughout the dance, they were a little bit off. You could see they were thinking, they were feeling for each other. And at this point at the Olympic Games, you have to be skating all out, pushing it to the edge, just going by feel and not by the head. As soon as you think it through, you're in trouble with the performance. I have a feeling that Italian judge might not have thought it was as important as you say. We'll see if he's true to form as he was yesterday. Of course, the judging panel under extreme scrutiny after the pairs. And these are very high marks. The Italian judge, a 5'8", that was the only one. They are the first to skate of the top group, but with marks like this and a 5'9 for presentation. From the Italian. So the Italians in first place, but still a lot of good skating.